type of weird cult organization, which makes no money, of like a business. You know, corporations, specifically C corporations, have bylaws. This is Twitter. Um, whether people get weird because some, you know, different fan bases make different groups about different shit. Um, you know, you do not owe these people anything. You have your loyalty. You have your loyalty to um, Cardi and your fellow Party Gang members. That's what it is. I'm getting messages too. Um, that also, you know, because um, she always, she always stand for the truth, and she and she fucks with change. We're going to take a brief intermission and let this bitch talk. So what you got to say, bitch? Why didn't you come up on here on your regular page? Oh, I get it. I get it, Buggy. I it's get about it getting too, straight bitch. to the point. That's why I, I want to come too, in bitch. here and play that with my too, people. Oh, I want to play that with the residents. I get, it too. The I get it too, bitch. How does it feel to be muted, bitch? How does it feel? How does it feel? Bitch, you ain't nobody over here, bitch. Take your vice president ass on, ho. Now address the allegations that were set forth. Why you letting motherfuckers 16 years old talk to grown ass women that way? Now go. How does it feel to be muted, bitch? Twitter. And, uh, and which is to some type of weird people get weird because some, you know, different fan bases make different groups about different shit, um, you know, you do not owe these people anything. You have your loyalty. Um, We're going to take a brief intermission and let this bitch talk. So what you got to say, bitch? Why didn't you come up on here on your regular page? Oh, I get it. I get it, Buggy. I it's get about it getting too, straight bitch. to the point. That's why I, I wanted to come too, in bitch. here and play that with my too, people. Oh, I wanted I get to play that with the residents. I get, the res I get it too, bitch. How does it feel to be muted, bitch? How does it feel? How does it feel? Bitch, you ain't nobody over here, bitch. Take your vice president ass on, ho. Now address the allegations that were set forth. Why you letting motherfuckers 16 years old talk to grown ass women that way? Now go. Oh, 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 really? And really? they are in this current broadcast and he is on his space right now for some and reason pretending that he's talking to you. Even and though you're clearly talking, talking to all of us. Bitch. So I'm so fucking confused about I what's going on right that now. That you bitches are going, being I'm fucking weird. How you, old are y'all? Y'all cannot talking, really be I'm fucking serious old, right bitch. now. Are you I bitches touched in the brain? Do we need betterhelp.com right now? Like what the bitch, fuck you is going on with you deranged ass You need help. What is this? Y'all are obviously listening to me through Discord. Why do you have somebody in Discord and nobody is talking? Hey Discord. Nobody is on space with you. Hey Discord. So like I said, that proved my point. Point is proven that you're stalking actually, and you're crazy. That's actually the Discord playing. That's actually the Discord playing. You still have that phone that is in here. I have no beef with you. I told you that from the get go. I don't know you, but hey, I see you're doing great things, and I like Bullshit. and I retweet your stuff. So for you to do that, let me know what type of nigga you are, and you forty year old motherfucking that piece like of you, shit bro. that's right next to him, and that bitch with that tight pinup, truck to ride a tight fucking curl. 
with the motherfucking it's, it's, invisible man that only what? fuck with you on two uh, occasions. Bitch, I know they're not talking about who I think they're talking about. Y'all some sucker ass people. If you left the Chateau, baby girl, and baby boy, then you left while you still running it. Because you need a moment. So I'm glad that I can give you one. That I can give you what you want and what you need. But after this, it ain't no more than because we got shit to do. So y'all take y'all miserable ass, one back to Dayton, and one from the outskirts of Chicago. And do what the fuck that you do. Because anybody that can do some shit like that, you are old sick type of bitch. And that Somebody motherfucking weird. On, they're on their spam page. They're on their spam page logged into Twitter right now. And they're playing the Discord, I guess, from another phone. <laughs> and, and yeah. when I said this morning that they're bored and they're trying to keep up fucking mess and they're using y'all for entertainment, people didn't fucking believe me. What else kind of bored ass bitch would do this? Who is going to sit there on a fucking Monday night and pull up two separate fucking goddamn social media but apps so Discord, people who bitch. aren't even talking to each other right now can hear what the like y'all don't think that's y'all weird on Discord, and y'all sitting though, in that dude. space right now y'all don't think that they're that behavior Discord. is strange and weird they're doing no, the same no, fucking y'all thing don't. I'm y'all, doing y'all think that y'all got like a good little You're pet stupid, that pet bitch. is gonna fucking bite y'all when they're done biting this group of people they're gonna bite y'all next because that's what the fuck snakes do Baby, like girl, girl, don't you're not even this is, you are weird you're a weird ass hoe whoever this is doing this you're delusional ass bored, They're bottom out of the bill, don't have no friends in real life, don't get hugged, don't get touched, your mama didn't tuck you in at by, in, in bed at night, oh, read your oh, story, oh. didn't tell you you was beautiful growing up, ass bitch. You need something to do in real life, and I suggest that betterhope.com. No. Oh, there's gonna be a cleanse. There's gonna be a cleanse. Nobody's about to keep fucking doing this shit. This fucking shit is insane, and if the internet means bitch, that I'm motherfucking gonna do it every like day. to you, why you got the attention, make the most of it, sweetie. You got Let the attention. Let me leave and rejoin. You got I the fans. Ain't that what you wanted? You wanted the notoriety? Make the most of it. What the fuck? You still worried about a place that y'all really don't want it? You said you don't want it. Fuck this place, right? Fuck everything that's going over here, right? Why are you I so think my hair. I think my hair is really cute. Why Look at my hair. It's so cute. Why you gagging over my, my hair? Yeah. You are we very crazy. Why is a gay you black man slandering a black crazy? woman? He has called me a that, bitch that's, before. That's, that's crazy. Take it down the chateau. I guess take it down the chateau. That gives you your adrenaline. Your fucking high. Your Gee, fucking please be quiet, T. You ain't never got no. You that ain't is never where you talk, get talk, 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 all of that. We so man. fucking please. born. But y'all gotta do all. I live on the outskirts of Chicago, y'all. We ain't It's funny because I do too. You gotta do all this, but I don't though. Some of y'all, Colombia is not even a Latin country. It's Colombia. They must be going according to y'all. Whoever's the speaker, we racist. We all of that. Just pinpointing and finding shit to talk about. Y'all felt like y'all didn't have the positions that you wanted, or that you felt like you've earned. Or that she was entitled to you. But we're born. If we are beneath you, why are you coming down here to meet us at the level that you placed us? I just want y'all to take a step back and realize that how horrible of shit they just said about Trixie. Absolutely. Just, I have never once that. called. Everybody is unmuted now. But this is getting can... very much weird, like on so many levels. This is not the first time I've heard about another um Twitter group that's like raising money for their fan, but shit behind the scenes is happening that should not be happening. And I was quiet for months, baby. I never once came to the timeline and it's been happening for months. The moment Chad left, they wanted me to pick a side. How can you let him do this to CBG? How can you let him? Why are you allowing him to do this? I'm not Chad's person. I don't, I'm not his handler. I can't make Chad say something or do something. Thanks. That's not what I'm here for. So why are you constantly trying to make me pick a side for Chad? And the entire time when I'm steady saying, well, I'm still here, right? I'm still trying to promote and see roll out through because I really love Cardi B. Right, right. None of this other shit should have even came into play. But it started when Mimi started calling 
and Drew and Woody and all of them start saying, hey, they're in cahoots with each other. I didn't even fucking know Chad from a can of paint. I didn't know him from nowhere. Oh, y'all running the muck on us. Y'all feel like y'all running CBG. Motherfucker, I was putting my face and image on the line for this shit. I'm in every space promoting all the time. And now all of a sudden, oh, we're going to remove your roles, even though you did come up with the idea to go to Discord. We're going to remove all your roles and fuck the money that you put into it and the time you built doing the channels what? and everything. We're going to remove your roles because you're friends with Chad and we think you're going to get him information. Oh, by the way, we think that you're stealing information and giving it to Jackpot's Casino and you're running another organization. So we're going to tell all the residents who was under our nuts that you were planning on leaving soon. No, I left because in the Discord that night, you got in there and you accused somebody of stealing when y'all have been accusing me is stealing behind the scenes but nobody else knew that so i finally got fed up and i said who is stealing from cbg oh that's like that's like asking stevie wonder what color is again you still can't stand on it but you in this fucking discord talking nasty about a black woman as a black gay man when i have never disrespected you you can talk about my curls and my hair all you want if that's all you got on me that's good i'm so happy i didn't share any other aspects of my life with you okay that is fine <laughs> That is fine, because I never once doxed you. I never once talked about your appearance. I never talked about anything about you. But you in there doll walking me down because I was pissed the fuck off that y'all as a group kept trying to make me be Chaz fucking keeper. Every meeting we had where y'all berated me, it became about motherfucking... Man, let me play this motherfucking recording. Hold on, bitch. Yeah, it's one of them nights. It's Clock that motherfucking T, please. Yeah, I'm over it. I'm sick I'm of bitches it. playing with my motherfucking name, too. I ain't done or said nothing about this fat, black face sm shit smear, diabetic skin having ass motherfucker. I don't know why the fuck he keeps saying my motherfucking name like it wasn't me and Trixie who sold the whole fucking chateau to the fan base. Like, this bitch-ass nigga don't got a creative bone in his body. He hasn't created a fuck-ass thing, which is why as soon as me and Trixie left, all the promotion for every motherfucking thing stopped. As y'all can see, because I heard that space where uh people, where he's over there talking about us like that, like we're a fucking dog. That's exactly what I was talking about. And I have a screenshot that I'm gonna post right here on the timeline that proves that March 21st, we we was in a space arguing for over an hour and a half, and I was texting Woody to come into that space and mediate the space. Woody doesn't give a fuck about the Chateau. He does not give a fuck about uh, CBG. He does not give a fuck about Barty Gang. The only thing that man cares about is being in proximity to Kim Barbie and hopefully getting Cardi B notices. But you can go ahead and play your recording, sis. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Give me one second, one second. Yeah, you you just un um unleashed the fucking monster because I ain't say shit about your nasty ass. I didn't and say they nothing talk about, about you. your hair. My hair. My your hair. Your hair. My hair. She did this, she did that, she did something bad to us. Your hair. My hair. Also, his ass was in there doxing my old name. Like, what good is that going to do you? Bitch, I legally he changed you? my name. I don't know why he... Why, first of all, he's not doxing anything. All of it is public information. I made posts about it. I changed my birth name into my stage name. My stage name was Chad Turner since like 2012, 2011. So you're not doxing anything, bitch. You're not spilling any tea. You're drinking my hot diarrhea. <laughs> Doing. This is from June. This is from June first, by the way. June first. And it all started because I bought the domain to thechateaubg.com. I bought it with my money, and I was running the website so that way it could look clean. It looked like a, you know, a real thing. Like, hey, I'm gonna put all the Cardi B information on there and everything. So I just bought the domain to get the Beacon's name off of it. I paid for it myself, running it myself, making everything look good. I put a playlist on there because they didn't give me a playlist. I think it was for the wannabe remix or something. They didn't give me a playlist. So I said, I'm going to put a playlist up there on my own. And I got one off the timeline. Chad redid it. Well, Chad took it from the timeline, ripped it, added the songs in the placement and gave it to me just to help me out. Because on the spaces, people were saying, Trixie, where's the playlist that? Why isn't there a playlist? I wasn't in charge of making a playlist. It was. I was still waiting for one. 
So when Chad gave it to me and I put it on the website, I didn't know that it would show Chad's name. And I did apologize to them for that because I didn't know it would show Chad's name. But we had to have a courtroom meeting on June 1st because the playlist was on there. And I'm a sneaky snake bitch and all this other cannabis shit. And I was always on trial, quote unquote, for what Chad is doing. Trixie always had to um, answer for what Chad is doing. Just fucking talk to him. Just go talk to him. Why are you steady putting it on me? And I got frustrated because I'm steady saying, hey, I'm still here. I still do. I still do my nitro boost. I'm still making sure the design team is together. I'm still running the page. I still try to make it interactive. I still go out and promote. Do you know that these motherfuckers would still tell me, oh, you selfish. You a liar. You a sneaky snake, bitch. How dare you? When I had put my time into doing this because it was fun at first. Then it stopped being fun when it became a hierarchy. Oh, you're here, here, and here, and we're going to remove all your roles as admin, even though it was your idea to leave Clubhouse and go to Discord. They, they called you all that? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yes. my God. Yes. You just a Disrespect lady. Not only that, not only that, y'all, not only that, they would gaslight me so that I wouldn't stand up for Trixie by trying to say, like, oh, y'all trying to jump us. Y'all trying to jump us. But in reality, me and Trixie, okay, so this this particular event happened after the Grammys. Me and Trixie held a space to talk about the fashion at the Grammys. Well, because we didn't go into the group chat and tell them we wanted to hold a space, us, the two motherfuckers whose face and motherfucking voice sold the fucking event, we couldn't hold a space on our own. The two niggas who had social media presences before we ever linked up with these motherfuckers. We held an event to talk about Grammy fashion with Barty Gang. And they felt that because we didn't run it past them, we needed to have an admin meeting. Well, in that admin meeting, they accused me of Trixie, Trixie of being in cahoots. They um, accused us of trying to um, take over the Chateau, like the image of the Chateau. And we were like, what the fuck? Like, what are you even talking about? It was like, ridiculous. Like, why are y'all even coming to us with accusations? Because I'm going to be honest, for the first few months of the accusations, it was very confusing. I'm like, why are we arguing? Like, we're literally the dream team. We literally go out on the timeline every day and make all of our plans happen. Why are we always arguing? So it just kept going and it kept going. But yes, they accused me and Tracy of being in cahoots. Like, I didn't even know that lady. I did not know her. Tracy lives two states over from me. I did not know her, but us being accused of being friends, accused of being in cahoots and all of that is what drove us to become friends. And now we're friends offline. We don't talk about Barty gang stuff. Like I call Trixie's phone. We talk about life. She tells me about her boyfriend. I done met her boyfriend. Like I didn't talk to her boyfriend. I know they're going to get married and I know I'm going to be at the wedding. So all this weird ass, she got a pretend boyfriend. That's wild as fuck because he knows. They said that? He, he done heard your boyfriend. Yeah. Did, did they, yes, they he said, said that. I yes. Man, listen, that nigga said I live in a confederate house, which I don't even know what the fuck that means, bitch, because my D got my name on it. Where the fuck is yours, you fucking death angel? But he Everybody was just telling me. But he was just telling me on June 1st when I told him, like, oh, hey, I won't be around because I'm going on a date with my man and stuff. This is what we're doing. Oh, yeah, girl. I know you can't get pregnant, but he sure going to, you know, nut you up. He going to. But now all of a sudden I got a pretend boyfriend. I post my nigga all the time. Baby. Come on now. You now please. come on. Come on now. This is the same nigga now. that we ain't never heard talk about going on no date because everybody around here around him keeps dropping dead. Everybody like baby, you would never, you would never have a man because they'll drop dead before you ever even get anything from him. My like, be fucking is, for real. Everybody that follows me will see my man on my account. Chad has heard my man in the background. What Girl, are he you know talking you got a man. about? Girl, he know you got a man. He done You're heard your man in the background. He need to have something to say about us so that he could get a laugh. Weird One ass, moment. fat ass raccoon. Uh, oh, this is a recording, by the way. I'm going to let oh. you know. That's me, me. I think I feel like I always start, so clock it. I'll listen. Well, I was called here, so I would like for you guys to get started so I could pinpoint. Um Okay. So I need to turn the volume up, Chad. Come on, thick throat. Like get it out. Spit it out. It's like they got some behind the scenes beef that they don't want to wake up. I can't 
think it's my computer. Okay. <laughs> Um, we're here because of the, I, I guess you want to say questionable activities, um, in regards to, um, the Chateau, um, like, we're, like, no one can ever tell you who to be friends with. You're grown. When, you know what I'm saying? You're going to hang with who you hang with. You're going to mesh with who you mesh with. Um, but when it comes to the Chateau, Chad removed himself. And we kind of all agreed that nothing that we talk about amongst the Chateau needs to be related to him. And I never related um, anything. And so... I guess everyone, you know, when it, I didn't know about the, um, the playlist thing. So, um, but he should not be attached to the Chateau in any type of way, whether it's his playlist. I I know there's something petty, but he left us. So we shouldn't have any, any attachment to him, especially after the way that he said those disparaging words about some members that are still currently in the Chateau. Um, and so people felt felt the way when they saw that his playlist was still attached to the chateau, and it shouldn't be. Um, and so um, I think people are feeling like they, 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 like they don't want to feel like you're taking the ideas that we come up with in the chateau and go back and try to tell him, and you know what I'm saying, and he runs with it because this is about the chateau where we build. We, you know, we want everyone to be a part of this because we all helped build this into what it is today. So I think that is where people are having mixed emotions because he is still a, being attached to the chateau in some way when he shouldn't. He left the chateau. We shouldn't. He shouldn't be a part of anything. Even down to his playlisting, he shouldn't be a part of anything. So he won't. So he won't be like, well, that that playlist that they're playing right now, that's mine. We don't want to hear nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Like we want to be able to, you know, if you needed a playlist, you know, there were other party game members that, that posted playlistings. Um, those have been more of a viable, um, you know, playlist in the post um, because. He denounced us publicly. Um, he ha- he has issues with some members of the chateau, and we shouldn't be still having him lingering. Like I said, like you, no one's telling you who you can and cannot be friends with. Because at the end of the day, we make relationships with people that we see more that that that, that we are, you know are more compatible with as far as personalities and stuff like that. It's obvious you and you and you and Chad, y'all have a great um a great relationship. You guys like each other as friends. Y'all y'all personalities mesh well. But again, he left the chateau and he should not be a part of it in any shape or form. Um I I I don't got no problem with you. I just don't want him to still be lingering, if that makes sense. All right. Uh, may I go ahead and speak? I don't want to cut in. Okay. okay. So when it comes to Chad Turner, what he does has nothing to do with me. Um, anything that he puts on his profile or his timeline has nothing to do with me. Again, I'm still being accused of giving him information one there's nothing for me and him to talk about regarding this entity i don't get on the phone with him and talk about this i don't give him any ideas for anything chad has is his own designer he can make his own flyers his own edits and everything he just didn't want to do that with this because he was more focused on writing something he built from the ground and he did all the work for it so he said i'm not i don't want to get into designing because i'm gonna be non-stop with it steady pushing it out Again, I'm always on trial to answer for what Chad is doing. Regarding the playlist, 
there weren't any playlists and there's people in my inbox, people on the spaces, and they're asking us, hey, Trixie, where's a, where's a playlist? Where's a playlist? All Chad did was steal one from the timeline and reworked it and gave it to me. It's only been there for less than 24 hours. It was just a placeholder. The other one that I got from 21 Matt Gala, I just found that online right at like 9, 12, 19 a.m. Just so something is on the page. I truly didn't think it would be such this big old thing of accusing me of giving him information or telling him about what's going on off a playlist. I get that you guys don't like him and he does. He has an issue with whoever. Again, I'm always answering for what Chad does and it trickles down to you guys alienating me purposely to let me know you're doing it. When I'm in spaces and I'm interacting with him, he has nonstop said, do not turn your back on CBG. Do not turn your back on the organization because what they're doing is a good fucking thing. He pushes the link. I don't ask him to. I'm surprised he even does it. He still tells people all the streaming information you need is on thechateaubg.com. Even if I'm not a part of the inner group anymore, I would never shit on the entire organization or tell you not to go use their resources. I don't tell him to do those things. I even said, damn, that was pretty fucking nice of you. He was like, yeah, you know, like I have a problem with a few people or whatever. I'm not going to, you know, shit on everybody and tear the whole thing down. I thought it was admirable because if I was in his situation, I would have acted a fucking fool and never said anything. So the fact that he even was still doing that, it lets it lets me know that you guys have the wrong idea about him. But again, I'm in here to speak for him when you guys could have brought him in here. He was never able to have a trial. He was we never used this room for anything in the past that you guys have done for to me. I have taken a lot from you guys. I've been nothing but understanding. You guys have shown me that this is what you guys, how you envision it. And that's fine. As a founding member of CBG, when we all were on Clubhouse and I said, hey, let's take this to Discord because you can't do anything on Clubhouse for real. Mimi made the the, uh, email for it and we all started doing it. Shared the password. We made a promise. Hey, we're never going to do that to each other. I never got a trial for that. It just happened. It's always that you guys can figure out how something hurts you. But when it's my turn and I'm upset about something, I'm met with being called a liar. I'm being told that I can't be stand. So how would you think it makes me feel when I go in? I'm the only department head on the entire team. I no longer have the admin um, information. I no longer have the Discord information. So it's like I'm actually being alienated in real time. People tell me that you guys get on the phone with them to talk about me. People get in my DMs and show me screenshots of what other people are saying. People come into my spaces to run back and subtweet on their timeline about me. There's minors getting involved, which I already checked that, and it's still going. That's a grown man. This is a child. But not one person that's an admin will ever speak up for me. Not one person that's an admin will ever get into the chat when I'm being berated or trying to get bait into an argument. Like, what happened in the chat? And, oh, if some snake shit is going on being said by Mimi and stuff, I'm like, I have no idea what the fuck is even going on. I didn't respond. I go to the CBG design chat and I see, oh, we're going to have an admin meeting later. And if somebody is getting something from CBG, even if they're in it, I didn't understand what that message was for because I didn't do anything. Moon Barty Gang made me an edit and I offered to pay three times for it. Moon Barty Gang said, I'm never going to charge you. And I said, if you ever Moon, start- Moon Barty Gang is my designer. I brought Moon Barty Gang on, by the way. That's yeah. my designer. You yeah. have several other designers, but it seems like you just went straight to Moon. That's my designer. I didn't know. Okay, that. so- Wait, I was in the- Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I understand me, but let's okay. So boom, like let's they're they are part of design team. That each designer is like not alienated to one person. Right. So let's let's like not do that. Like I'm gonna be like I'm gonna be fair down the board. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not like y'all know I don't talk much. I don't say nothing about nobody. I'm cool with everybody. I don't got no issue with Chad. I don't got no issue with Tracy. I love me. I love Mimi. I love Nick. I love everybody. Because I really do think all this shit was a misunderstanding and folks need, and folks, you know, 
could could have got their big boy pants on and we could have had we could have had the trial but chad left before we could even suggest the trial um, can we pause this real quick right it. here okay go ahead First things first, no, I was not willing to go and have a court, a trial. We have a room called the courtroom, the Chateau courtroom. No, I wasn't willing to go and have a trial because this bottom of the barrel scammer check writing ass bitch thought she was going to get in that goddamn group chat and get disrespectful with me when I have a fucking degree in radio and television broadcasting. No, she already got disrespectful in the fucking group chat. No, Woody needed to step the fuck in and put that bitch in her place because he was the person who was the quote unquote stand project leader. So by that point, no, you got me fucked up. No, I'm not going to go back and forth with you in the group chat. No, I'm not going to disrespect you and call you out your motherfucking name. None of that bullshit. That bitch was trying to bait me into an argument for four motherfucking days without saying my name like I'm motherfucking Destiny's child. She did not say my name, so I did not respect the shit. Then when she finally did tag my name, it was because she felt like I wasn't retweeting their tweets on my on my fucking timeline, that same timeline that they claim don't got no power. They claim this timeline ain't keeping their light bills on, but they showing the fuck was mad as fuck that I wasn't promoting on it. You know what I'm saying? And so to come out and be like, oh, you know, he did, he he this and he that. No, bitch, keep it one motherfucking hundred. The girl got disrespectful, and at that point, you lost your opportunity with Chad. No, I don't want to be a part of it no more. You're disrespectful as fuck, and it had been going on since March. So that's why I didn't put the quote-unquote big boy pants on, bitch. None of you motherfuckers in that bitch got no business about yourselves. So once you fucked it up with the businessman, I was out the door. You can go ahead. I'm sorry. You let her finish because I'm just trying to internalize everything she's saying because I got to rebuttal yeah. all of that. Okay. So I asked Moon Barty Gang, like, hey, how much is it for an edit? So that way um, I can get one made for the spaces that I want to have. And what is your pricing? I will send you the money. Do you have cash out? Before I even posted it, I asked Moon Barty Gang three times, are you sure you don't have a way for me to provide you with financial assistance or anything? No, don't worry about it. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I would never charge you for it. I personally didn't know that if a person brings on a designer, that person is only for them. That person can only work for them. If that was the case, I would not have ever stepped to that. I, I'm not going to lie. This is not about Moon. This no, is not I, about none of this that. This is about like, me. Honestly, this is about it's, it's, like, okay. it's a filibustering situation going on here. We got to get straight to the point. Right, and I'm Please, putting to that. Let's get straight to the point. I'm it's not about the violence. It's not about not none of that. You're not going to yell at me. You're not going to talk over me. I'm not yelling at, at you. I'm just point, saying I'm it seems thinking. like you're like I'm filibustering. It seems like you're just I'm talking about all situations and feelings. We're talking about that has We're talking about you are being mean? very competitive for about no right reason. Now. Again, Maybe. whatever issue you have with Let's me, talk. What, it's, too whatever, much, it's too much feeling whatever, and all that. And it's just like whatever, whatever issue, issue you have it. with me, I was never given talk. a fair trial, so I'm able to speak because I'm finally in here. Listen, I listen, listen. I don't have to listen to anything. It's I not never about said designers. it was. It's I was not about none of that. I never said it this was. This is a business. I never said it was. You the one that jumped in and said, But you're hey, making it about that. You the one you that jumped in and said, brought up a whole bunch of different situations you that has nothing to do with nothing. Because it my point that you guys are constantly trying to pick and prod at something. That's not I'm true. If you, could give me the, if you can give me the same respect that you would like anyone else to give you, Mimi, I would truly appreciate it. Because I won't talk over you. I'm not going to do this with you. Whatever issue you I have, want, I just want to get straight to the point. And you can get straight to the point when it's your turn to speak. But right now I have the floor. It's all about respect. And for some reason you feel comfortable with disrespecting me when I'm not doing that to you. It, that's it, me and you look at disrespect differently. You we have to call on from Miami. We absolutely do, and what you do and the way you speak to me is very disrespectful. And I have let you All right. know many times. Okay, and I've let you know a lot of things too, and you still continue to do it. So I have never done anything to you. You just have a problem with me, dog. Please, that's it. We, we go back and forth for what? Because you please. didn't want to start talking. It wasn't your turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It, so it, it's the like so, 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 so
when I seen so that, I, uh, I was wondering where it came from. And that's when I saw his edit. So I'm like, oh, maybe they're talking about me or maybe they're accusing him. I don't know because I didn't have anything to do with it. So now today, when y'all see the playlist that's, again, been on there less than 12 hours, I just use it as a placeholder because Barty Gang was steady asking where the playlist. He just did me a favor of ripping it and remixing it. It's, to me, it wasn't that big of a deal because he has never said anything nasty about CBG as a whole. He just has an issue with me. Mimi's issue is not my issue, but for some reason, my issue with Chad, my issue or issues y'all have with Chad is my problem. Y'all could go talk to him. Get him in here if you care. Do it on spaces, do whatever. He will gladly clear his name, but I'm not going to keep answering for him. I don't give him any information. We're not even doing shit for me to give him any information. We're just promoting, trying to get funds. Um, putting those edits out, that's all we're really doing, trying to change the landscape of it. So when I see this, I'm okay with that. I have already know how you guys are going to move with me. I already know that you have this preconceived notion in your head about me, no matter what I say, is going to be an ongoing thing. I did not think that the playlist, which is so small, would be such a problem until the playlists were given to me. If everyone is asking for playlists at midnight at CBG, we got to be motherfucking on it. And that was it. The other one that I got, just got it off the timeline and put it there. I hid them both. They're not there. There's nothing on there. I'm waiting for the new playlist later. For But to, all this is just too much for me. If you guys don't want me here, kick me out. If you don't want me to be a part of your group, kick me out. Because the same thing while I always have to be in the middle and get lashes from the entire group or somebody else from the outside got to tell me, oh, this person's talking shit about you. And I don't say nothing. I don't subtweet anybody. I've been getting subtweeted. People have been watching my pages. People have been on my spaces. It's an ongoing thing. So what is the problem for real? What have I done since the last conversation we had? I let you guys know I don't have a beef with anybody. I'm grown. I have a whole life outside of this stand shit. I don't have stage fast stand brain. I really don't. This is just a fun hobby. But when a person can is seen to be alienated, yes, it is hurtful. But when my feelings were hurt, oh, bitch, you this and you that. Oh, this, this, and this, that. But if somebody else does, now we got a whole motherfucking courtroom. But nobody cared to give me one. Nobody cared to hear my side about anything. I got to do all my stuff in chess and argue with people. That's ridiculous to me. It's ridiculous how we have to come in here in the courtroom all of a sudden because somebody's feelings was hurt or the group's feelings were hurt or whatever the case is. But any other time, we ain't never used this. We done kicked people out, had all the arguments, shit been viewing for months and months, never came in here. But now we have to talk about a playlist for Chad. It's not there. It was less there for less than 24 hours. That's it. If there's anything else that I did wrong to you guys, please let me know. Because at this point, I am doing nothing but running the page, promoting in my spaces nonstop. I always look it up. Don't I clear the trust well, name. What we're not going to do is... I, I, hey, y'all. I hear what you said. What we're not going to do is... And I respect everybody up here. We're not going to play no big ones. And I'm going to keep it real. I'm real, not a victim for real, anything. Real. I added the playlist well, as a place. Hold on. I said hold on. that. Don't be not claiming it. Y'all have it always like, done this, bro. I, wait a minute. Because I let you talk. So I let you talk. Hold on. What I'm trying <laughs> to say is, Ted left the chateau and he made videos about leaving the chateau and that it was bad for his brain. Secondly, I talked to Chad on the 13th and the 14th of May of things that I was implementing and radio, and Chad took off with it, and he ran with it. That has nothing to do with you. He's lying. I, he's fucking he's lying. lying. He is lying. He's lying. <laughs> he's lying. Just so you know, when I came into the Chateau, I built the radio team, me and Drew, built the radio team from nothing. So there's no way that I could even possibly steal anything when I was a bricklayer for the whole fucking Chateau. So be fucking serious. And Drew can speak, he can speak for himself. 
to uh, cooperate the story if he chooses to. But yeah, there was no radio team. There was no plans for radio whatsoever. I went to college for radio and television broadcasting. So I saw there was a need for that. And that's what I brought as an initiative. Nobody can take away what the fuck I did, which is why they can't duplicate it. Oh, and I took my work when I left as well. I'm not saying it, but he ran off with it. My thing is, while we was even on a space, Tad was still talking about the chateau and calling us liars and things. So why is Chad playlist even being on the what you call it? Now, come on. I'm not trying to get in the middle of nothing, but come on. Be real and be serious. That you do not do. If he's gone, he's gone. There were many playlists. That was on the watch card. Secondly, if you needed a playlist and you needed, to, because I did say me and Tia was creating, curating the playlist, you could have went in that royal court. Or just like you did, hey, hey, what y'all, hey, are y'all done with the watch card? No, we're not. Um, no, we're not. We're not done with it yet. But if we need a playlist, hey, there are other people. You took all of the playlists down. Only ones that need to be removed was from Mr. Turner. That was it. Mr. Turner said that he does not want to be affiliated with the Chateau. When I told Mr. Turner, I understand how you feel. He said, I will go and I'm going to announce it to my followers. I told Mr. Turner, you don't have to, you don't have to do that. If you do it, I understand, but I know what time you are. Mr. Turner put out my text messages and put them out there on the timeline. Mr. Turner has thrown shots. He threw shots at the minor that you were talking about at Body Game Party. We got to remember, that baby been here since the beginning as the Chateau started in the clubhouse. Okay, again, so it he sounds like this is a problem for Chad. And he saw that he was, he was like, yes, there was a problem with Chad. I get that, but you it seems like you're, trying to, you're, you're not trying to catch on to it. No, Please, I get what you're saying. saying. It has nothing to do with me. With the Chateau. That's what he said in the video. And sounds like a cult. Video, he shouted you out like if it, was a, if, it, if, if it was a dog whistle. I held back on it. I said, hey, if you guys are Chad's friend, be his friend. That's cool. That's whatever. Please. Read everything that we have separate. He said he don't want anything to do with the chateau. Hey, we love him. Hey, go on, do great. Do what you do. I'm, I'm good on that. You cool on that. But then his playlist is on the website. Now, I really didn't say anything like it because I know that you purchased the website. Like I said, hey, if you want to keep it on there, keep it on there. Just take the Chateau's name off of it. You want to call it Trixie World or whatever, do that. If you want to sell it to us, we'll do that. That's fine. That's what the issue is with me. Because he say that he's going, he don't want nothing to do with it. Like, and it seems like it's always and uh, it's always something i agree with that individual and i am tired Me i'm baby. not trying to kick you out nobody trying to force you out and nobody trying to do that but everybody they the people they see they see it trixie even residents are coming to send enough stuff and i'm not yeah, and that you know i don't me. play with it i don't loan it they even sending me stuff so that's why i'm like when, when you said the subs, I said, them subs are going back, go both ways. And I even told Mimi, hey, don't say nothing. Hey, I understand you were said, you matter whatever. And I saw what was said, because the sub that she threw was shot afterwards. Now, I don't know the stuff that she threw lately, but I know when y'all was having sub gate, them subs started on that side. And then the sub were responsive. Also, you guys had that confused as well. I didn't even know she even made a tweet about me till somebody sent it to my DMs. I wasn't subbing that damn lady. I didn't every tweet that I was making that day was just my own personal shit. And she thought it was a sub about her. Somebody sent it to me and said, Hey, are hey, y'all subbing each other? Please. It's the gaslighting. Gas you I'm 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 Oh I am, my God. I am I am calling I, am calling I, am calling I have a bachelor's degree. Anything else you you're cannot, talking about. You cannot about, girl. I, Oh gaslight like me and you can't gaslight like you me. You do a lot of stuff. Yeah. You do a we lot just had of this same conversation. You play a lot of manipulation tactics. We just and you can't do that with me. Because I know somebody like you. We just you had this same conversation last night. You cannot do that with me. Okay. You cannot play them type of games with me. Okay. You do stuff. Okay. You do stuff first. I don't even be on I my I'm confused. Is there two people stuff. talking to Trixie Not at once? Everything I do is a reaction. I don't even Things be on Things I do page. is a reaction. I don't why would I be scared to tell nothing. you if I subbed you? You're not gonna do anything to me. So why okay, would I be scared of that? What the point is, the what point the is, is going on you the point is, Ted disrespected every single body a part of the chateau. And 
you set you set up with him. Nobody cares. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. We also get recordings back mm -hmm. from you on on um faces. And what have I said school. about y'all? You, you don't have to say. What you don't have, have to say our name. What have, 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 what have, have I name. ever you said about y'all on spaces? I have been nothing but supportive and pushing this shit. Tracy, what have I said? Around, listen, listen, mama. We've been around What have I said, other. baby? What did I say? Since November. And what did I say about CBG or anybody in it? You have been, you Are we have listening to Pixie? Oh, my you face. Have yes, Pixie and somebody else. You're talking I'm over each other. You don't make any sense. Because I hear two people it's talking to her at once. I hear a lot of mess. Yet. And I'm not like, look, tell me about it. That's a recording. So it's a recording. Trixie, you're gonna have to come back off mute. I don't know who muted. Like who who muted me? Hold on. Where I'm getting the recording from. Okay, one second. Going, okay. You, the point is, Ted disrespected every single body a part of the chateau. And you set you sit up with him. Nobody cares. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. We also get recordings back mm -hmm. from you on on um. She was and what have I said about y'all? You don't have to say. You, you don't have, have, have to, to say, say our name. What have, have, what say have I name. ever said you about y'all on spaces? I have been nothing but supportive and pushing this shit. Tracy, what have I been said? Around, listen, listen, mama. We've been around. What have each I said, other. baby? What did I been say? Around since November. And what did I say about CBG or anybody in it? You have, you have give disclosed me one thing a lot. I said about this group on my face. You spaces. have disclosed a lot. I'm not, I'm not gonna. Give me the, give me the proof. Together, we can sing together, but we can't talk together. Look, tell me about it. Show me the proof. Leave the scene together. Do you want to sing the song? Please show me, baby. What did I say? What did I say about y'all? Let's sing a song. What did I say? Disparaging of CBG. Would you like to sing a song? <laughs> what did I say? Would you like to sing a song? What did I say about you? Guys? <laughs> would you like to sing a song? I've been doing nothing but What song you. would you like to sing together? I would like for you to sing the song of me saying that I said something bad about you guys on my spaces. Okay. Just because you suck. Because you're not up front. You're not real. Right. Oh, you okay. Okay. You okay. a stubber. Okay. That's what you do. Right. But resident... No, no cap. Residents have been coming in our inbox. Of course. And I try not to entertain it because I have a life outside of this. Sure. Y'all have on the phone with a resident to I, talk about me. Go ahead. I have Go a ahead. life outside of this. Mm -hmm. I'm in a relationship outside of this. Me too. I don't have time to entertain an individual I don't know in real Same. life. Same. I don't have time for that. People mm -hmm. are sending me stuff. As well. I try my best. Not to say nothing so to what did you. I say? Because it's not that deep for me. Yeah, exactly. All I'm saying is that man did some real fucked up shit to us. And you sat there and took a playlist of his and put it on the website. Something which, yes, you purchased it. You can get reimbursed for it. It's nothing. Mm -hmm. It's nothing. You can sell the domain to every place. But why asked. would you do that? That shit flow as fuck. Okay. That's football. That shit flow is fucked. No one can put out personal mm -hmm. text messages. No one can put out our group chat text on messages. That's fucked up. Why would you sit up and still do that? Nobody is trying to isolate you. You isolated yourself. You I know, also want to address the fact that you said that Chad has a problem with me or I have a problem with Chad. I've never had a problem with Chad. Chad has internalized his feelings about me because of you. And he's had a what? personal conversation throwing you under the bus. Throwing you under the bus sure. about things you said. Sure. Okay? Sure. So you sit up there and... You run your mouth with him, and then you want to sit up here and say that we've had conversations about you, and they come back and say, I don't care. Right. Nothing that don't make me no money, I don't care nothing about. But this don't make you no money. You. But when it comes to this organization, I mm -hmm. care about this. I care about the residents. And I this do shit as is well. about, This shit is this about, about party, party motherfucking people. You're absolutely right, but y'all make, make it about I you. Y'all make it about you. I don't care about no feelings. I'm telling you right now. Mm -hmm. I don't care about no feelings. Same. You ain't my bitch. I don't, I don't care about no feelings. Don't, don't give a be. fuck about my bitch. Period. When it comes to feelings. I don't care about none of that. That shit he 
did is not forgivable. Mm -hmm. It's not. Not only did he do it to us, he did it to you too because you're still a part of this. And that's the thing about you. You're very selfish. You don't care about nobody but yourself. That's a lie. It's the truth. You still stand up to me when a nigga who did what he did I have, I have given you all to this organization for me to say, to say that I'm selfish Are you a is part of It's disgusting. I have given a lot of You're my part time of it, though. like everybody else. I don't do anything but chat. Are you a part of Uh, yeah. Do I not promote and tweet on the page? Are you talk about it nonstop? I'm on my face every time. I'm on station here every time. Founder of TBG. I'm on station here and my face and the timeline nonstop. Nonsense. He put out personal text messages. That's what this all boils down to. But that has nothing Stand to do out. with me. I'm on trial for him. Yes, when that has nothing to do with you me. Put him you're, bringing, website. you're bringing up old stuff you like y'all tell me. You don't you have don't to yell. You don't have to yell, baby. You don't have to yell, baby. We are in here. We are in here. <laughs> because she said something to you earlier, I believe, and you didn't respond. It was nasty. Thanks it was nasty. Because I, I didn't know it was about me. It was nasty. I didn't know it was about me. Because I didn't know what was going on. Me neither. When I woke up, I went in the Royal Quest Point and I checked. I'm like, well, what they talking about? When I saw I saw his, his playlist, I'm like, okay, hold on, wait a minute. Why is his playlist on anything that had to do with, 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 with CBG. I, I understand, you know, hey, she's still cool with him. You know, that's a, that's a boy. I get that. But when you come to CBG, he has nothing to do with it. He's not affili affiliated with it or anything. And you got to, and, 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 and it's so troublesome and it's so sad to see. I don't think that you you understand what what, what I'm saying. Absolutely. Like, I can that comprehend. Not, that should not have been. That should not ha have been done because had anybody did that to you, tricks, I don't know. Y'all have done it to me. What the fuck is going on? Y'all have, though. No, we have. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm talking. We have done it to me. Anyway, all right. Go ahead. I'm the real of a bitch. All those who need to calm down because she's laughing, so I know what's going on. This is going to my house. She done got a rise out of you, honey, and she's laughing because she done got a rise out of you. Right. Baby girl. What, what, what am I lying about? What, what am I lying about? 
What am I lying? Let, let me tell you what you're doing. I'm not saying that you're lying. What I'm telling you is that you're doing, you're trying to craft a narrative, baby. I know that you and Chad purchased the website because he was still put, he's pushing the website because it has you behind it, baby. Because that's your baby. That's something that you created. Come on. But Come, he doesn't have to all is what I'm saying. He was only retweeting things that you put on there, baby girl. That's all that I'm trying to say, Tristy. Come on. We can't, we can't do this and we can't play this. What I'm but saying not, is... What I'm saying is, when I said that's nice of you to do, he's like, yeah, because I don't have a problem with anybody. I don't have a problem with CBG. He just had a problem with who he had a problem with. I don't answer for his sins, but y'all been making me answer for his sins. That man has a problem with me because of you. No, that's not true. You were nasty to him. You were nasty to him. He didn't like you. That's very true. I was in these meetings. Y'all not going to last say that y'all wasn't nasty to him. Oh, he had a personal conversation with someone that told him. So it is what it is. Right. Sure. That's what I'm saying. Right. I'm going to believe that. Sure. You don't have to believe it. It's the truth. Okay. I tell nothing but facts. Sure. I'm not a liar. Right. I have no reason to lie to you. Of course. Who are you? Because you're nobody to me. Same. I don't like that. Exactly. Don't like Same. 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 You're, 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 like you can't. You you're, you're not higher than me on anything. Listen. Now. You. Listen. Don't. don't you're yell nobody to lie to you. Don't yell into your phone. I'm not going to go to jail don't if I lie to you. I'm Nothing's going to happen to me. You're right. Lying to you does not benefit me. Right. It doesn't like benefit it. me. It doesn't. Right. It, it doesn't correct. put money in my pocket. Correct. So what is the it issue? It don't put money in my so pocket. what is the issue? The, I, the issue is, is that you don't know how to be real. I'm the realest bitch you'll never meet. What do you mean? That's the issue. Baby, I don't think so. You're but why would I care about your opinion? No, I, so what are you doing? Where I have to value your opinion. Real. You I just want to get in here argue with me. You don't that's realize it. how much you lie, but that's not about that. Right. Let's keep it on point. Right. Let's keep it on the main focus. Sure. All, all this stuff problem is coming up from last time. We said, I don't have a problem with you. I don't have this and that. that now you're in here yelling at your with phone. Me because of you. This was a lie. This always you're not real well enough this was to so tell you what the real problem is. I don't have a problem with you because I don't value you for nothing. What do you mean? Is that I don't have a filter. No. Your problem with me is I call you out I, on your shit. No, my and problem you with never, you is you talk nasty like to you never in life had anyone call you out for anything. I that's what it feels like. No, you that's, have no that's again, you're me. making an ass of yourself that by a song. You, you don't know me. You don't know me. You don't know me. Mimi, you do not know me. I don't have to listen at all you don't know me. You can't call. You can't say I'm not a real lesbian. You ain't never met me. This is a Court. hobby. You're Court. internalizing Court. this hobby into Court. something else. Y'all need backup Court. and tag teaming. Have you I've never done that. You've been in meetings. Did it seem like me and Chad had issue in meetings? Why would you ask Pork Chop and she's your friend? Because she beat us. Okay. <laughs> She beat us. Everybody is biased. They have a point. Hold on, hold on. Me and Q are the only ones on, bi not biased in here. I even asked Woody to, I asked him, hey, I don't feel comfortable with, with the people that he selected because all of you guys are personal friends. He said, okay, I'm going to remove myself and you can speak to this, this person, that person. I said, cool. Now he's in here and now it's done riled up. Now, 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 People. It's so funny that you say that with it was so funny. I'm gonna tell you what the problem is. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you what the issue is. The issue is on me. And I'm gonna tell y'all, no, the issue is on me. The issue is on me because I was so quiet back in the days. I was quiet because I was sitting back being um being fearful because I know how I felt with the nail tip that was being put on me that I mean that I'm this and I'm that and I think I'm um I'm, 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 I'm still this and I'm this and that. I was quiet so much, I was quiet so much, so much to the point that that. that that you and Chad and I gotta mm -hmm. keep it real. Y'all went on. Nothing 
saying it. Y'all been saying it. Y'all ran a month with a lot of stuff. And I didn't say nothing. And I didn't mm-hmm. put an end to, to certain things. I'm like, okay, I get it, you know. Because I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know how to come and approach everybody. Because I'm like, hey, I already know what's been said about me. Because Chad has already told somebody about, um, uh, have already had feelings about me. Saying that he thinks that I'm personal, BG, that I'm this and that. He has said that. And I have to record it to prove it. So my thing is, I'm like, okay, I don't want to go through this again. Okay, I'm going to just be quiet. But so much stuff has been done. Know that you are good and effective and efficient at what you do. Mm-hmm. But Trixie, sometimes when you and Chad get together, it's a, it's, 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 it's a, it's a lot. Y'all and already I, had and the I narrative. said that before. Y'all already but had the I narrative. Have not had before I even had his number, before anything. See, that's the thing. Trixie, talking. I'm, I'm one of the ones that I don't jump. I don't try to. I don't, I, I don't try to. But everybody else did, Woody. Woody. I try to get y'all to talk. But and, everybody and else did, that. Woody. That's the problem. Everyone else did. I have been attacked multiple times regarding Chad and being cool with him, being in cahoots. That was y'all favorite fucking word. So what is what is really going on here? I need to know right yeah. now, why is everybody in admin that started this but me, and I'm not in those conversations. I always find out that something else was being... Why am I the only one? Can y'all give me a real answer? Why am I the only founding member without an admin tag, and I'm just put on department head? Why did that happen? Out of nowhere. Without coming to court. Okay, but I'm I'm trying to tell you, because you keep going on. What my thing is, Mm -hmm. it's me. I don't want you a part of certain things, because you are cool with him. Okay. Okay. Clock it. Clock it. Okay. Clock that T. Clock that motherfucking T. This is so crazy. So I ain't do shit to you. So I ain't do shit to you. You just made it. I'm friends with Chad. Clock it. You're not having anymore. You can't plan and offer up ideas for CB2. This is about promoting Cardi B. And you remove my ammo when I'm bringing good ideas. Because I'm friends with Chad. Come on now. And, and Chad had been gone it, for a month at that point, for two weeks at that point. Like That's some childish now. ass shit. Yeah, These people have lost this, their fucking this, minds. Lost. This is mental illness I'm and jealousy. I'm not them lying on me and shit. I made sure I'm not hostile with y'all. Tonight I'm hostile because you got in there talking about I got a fake boyfriend. I live on the outskirts of Chicago. My hair look like this. You're a gay black man. You called me a bitch before. And when I asked you why you speak to me like that in a public space, you was copping, please. Oh, sister, I didn't mean it. No, no. But now you want to, oh, this bitch with the curly tip of curls and this bitch with a fake boyfriend. How dare you? And still at this moment, I'm still not disrespecting you coming at your appearance or your lifestyle or anything. I'm honest about the shit that I do. This shit is weird. I would never, ever, ever get in fucking any type of thing behind the scenes to help push our girl. I can do it by myself. When I was contacted to do this, oh, hey, Trixie, why don't you come on board? I'm like, okay, this sounds like a cool idea. What is it that you guys really want to do? Oh, we want to promote, get the edits out. You did it for bongos. You could bring your that design team over to this. Okay, come on, y'all, let's go. Like, let's do this. Like, it sounds fun. But now it's such a nasty ass thing where I got to deal with her for months all because all I want to do is promote our girl. All this extra shit in between, this shit shouldn't even happen. I'm humiliated and embarrassed I tag my name and image to some shit like this. I'm letting you know that now. I have a whole life outside of this shit. I don't give a fuck about none of this stan shit. I'm not even a fucking stan page, bitch. I get 60 million impressions on my own. Kiki Palmer interviewed me. How would I need clout off you? You came to me for a reason. Clock it. Me too. I don't need anything from you. But talking Clock about it. my appearance, talking about my lifestyle or where I live at, you have done too much. Calling me a thief and a liar and I'm selfish and I have done nothing but try to bring the Barty gang together to promote this shit is fucking disgusting. I don't give a fuck who's upset that I'm saying anything. I've been quiet for fucking months. So yes, I'm going to say something. Keep saying I won't cloud off you or whatever. I'm never going to stop talking now. I'm never going to keep... I'm going to keep my foot on y'all fucking necks. After what y'all just did in that Discord and you thought motherfuckers wasn't listening, you're disgusting, motherfucker. You're disrespectful to black women. It's fucking gross. 
And I'm tired of always having to hold my tongue and being told, don't you go to the timeline. Please just leave quietly. Why? Is that is that the reason why you want me to leave quietly? I got to keep taking the way that y'all talk to me and shit and calling me a liar, getting on the phone with people to crying shit. Mm-mm. They want you to keep quiet so they can run in the Discord. See, that so shit in the Discord, going. I feel like they've been doing that shit for a long time because we left and didn't give a fuck about it. But see, the fact, the, the thing that they don't clock that is very, very vital to remember is 98% of those people in that Discord came in there because of us. So when you got in there on that motherfucking microphone talking shit about us, they flooded our DMs with that shit. Sure they is. flooded our DMs with that shit every fucking week. It was one point, it was like every other day I was getting DMs. Like and I had to s- And I had to sit on the timeline and be the fuck quiet for 43 days because my friend was still involved. And I didn't want to tear down the establishment. I didn't want Barty Gang thinking that the bullshit that this nigga was putting out there about me was the truth. It was never an issue about the Chateau. We built it. Why would we build something that I would turn around and try to talk shit about? I helped build it. Like, be fucking for real. But because I wouldn't let this girl disrespect me in private, now all of a sudden, Woody's all like, oh, he's released our private text messages. We'll go read the text messages. What's so private about it? And you just sent the DM of our messages to that Discord. So fair game. I just got a Period. Report. And Period. I got y'all yelling at me and basically putting me, quote unquote, on trial for Chad. I don't answer for Chad, motherfuckers. Period. I am my own fucking person. This became a cult shit and I had to leave because what the fuck are we really doing anymore? Y'all care more about getting Cardi B interactions than pushing a fucking fan base. I don't give a fuck about no Cardi B retweets and no likes. I care about getting this girl Please. fucking music out because CB2 is fucking coming, bitch, and I've been waiting Please. seven goddamn years for it. Please. You think I give a fuck about a like or a retweet from fucking Cardi B? No offense. That's some shit that the younger Barty gangs want. I'm grown. So I don't give a fuck about no shit like that. I got my first Cardi notice in 2017. I ain't I don't never care heard about no shit like notice. that. So now run back and tell them that I played it, bitch. Run back Another and thing too, I want to. I want to clock this too because I got a recording from um, that Discord because somebody sent it to me, and um, he was in there talking about I only got 20 people in my space, baby. Never once have I ever did a space and got 20 people. I held a space and he tried to hold a space at the same time, and people didn't leave my space to go join his space, so he canceled his on several occasions. Don't ever try to play games with Chad, baby. Don't ever try to play with Chad, honey. You're mad because you're my age and don't get the same thing that I get. You're mad because you're my age and people don't gravitate to you the way they gravitate to me. And then you want to try to push this narrative like motherfuckers is buying followers and buying likes. If that were true, why were you begging me to come into the Chateau and create the radio team? The thing is, why were you begging me? Chad, tell these people the truth that I had to tell them do not buy fake likes for the Chateau page. Yes. That's unoriginal. That's unauthentic. Run the page the right way. Why would you go and buy likes? Baby, they got a whole fucking payola. They got a whole payola group chat. A whole payola group chat. I had to tell them on three different occasions don't buy likes for that damn page. Why would you go buy likes when Barty Gang interacts with everything Cardi B? But you so big for your britches and you want to be head Barty Gang. You want to be bigger than this page, bigger than that page. And I'm steady telling y'all, that's not how you do it. It's not going to be authentic and the fan base flock to if you go buy fucking likes and retweets and fake followers. Why would you do something like that? Why would you do something like that? So I'm going to keep talking because what he just did was lit a fire under my ass. You dox me, come to my crib and beat the shit out of me. Come kill me if it's that serious. How about that? Because that's the type of time I'm on now. I'm tired of motherfuckers lying. You don't know shit about my life. I'm glad I didn't share anything to you. You dox my information like you did, Chad. There's going to be a rude motherfucking awakening. And that's on my father's ashes. Leave me the fuck alone. And I've then been y'all... this shit for months. You want to come do something to me? Shit. You want to come do something to me? Come to my address on the outskirts of Chicago and come fucking do it. Because I'm about <laughs> that shit. I'm about that shit. Come see what the fuck I'm really about. I'm gonna show you a real ghetto ass Chicago bitch. Because bitch, I keep it real cute and proper. But I'm on that type of town. I'm not scared of not near motherfucker in the chateau, CBG, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Every motherfucker who ever got something to say about me or who picked the side, bitch, stay there. Don't bring your ass back when they do that shit to you. Period. Clock it. But, also, but if it's an I w- issue, dox me and come to my address and knuckle the fuck up. Be ready to fight. Whoever Man, the fuck it is. Honey, Whoever it is. You Y'all do not got to. that dox and shit. Telling somebody information. When they dox Chad information to me, oh, you know his real name is D'Angelo. 
And I'm like, oh, uh-huh. I'm just keep looking the floor already. You're not clocking anything to me. Why do you think that you're exposing, exposing them? That sounds crazy. What are you talking about? Tell them, tell them the reason that I got doxxed is because I left the group chat and the Discord. Because, yeah, because he left and made a video. So since he said shout out to Trixie to best let other people know, it's not her that's the problem. Because I've done nothing but promote. I genuinely love Cardi B. I genuinely love Cardi Vardy Game. But to be told I'm selfish, I I can't stand you. I'm sick of you. Oh, this bitch and her fake boyfriend, outskirts of Ooh. Chicago, her Shirley Temple curls, this church bitch. All this shit that you got to say nasty about me, but not one time would you come to the timeline and speak up. But you went in there and spoke to 35 motherfucking people who, who you won't allow to hear this shit. I'm sick of it. How many times do I have to keep allowing the motherfucker to lie on me? I don't give a fuck if the principal too small or too big. When motherfuckers do shit like that, I don't have to be quiet. I don't give a fuck who's mad. I don't give a fuck who said, oh, you're too old for that bitch. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to hold a grudge to the day I die, bitch. How about that? When I'm 47, I'm going to say something. When I'm 87, I can still say something. When I make it to 107, I'm going to say something because I can. It happened to me. It's my experience. Other mother, other motherfuckers on here can uh-huh. drag shit out or talk the shit that they want to talk. But the moment I the bitch who got the I'm platform to talk it, it's a fucking problem. Now I got to be quiet. Now you too old to say something. You Shut motherfuckers play ping pong on the timeline and argue about bullshit all fucking day. <laughs> the bars. And shit like that. But when I say it's about respect for me, oh, you're too old. Don't you say anything? How dare you open your mouth? You better be quiet. Fuck that. Fuck that. And fuck you too for telling me that. Suck my dick. How about that? Unfollow me if you got a problem with the fuck I'm saying. Because I'm sick of it. I'm fucking irritated. I've been nothing but cool, calm, and collective. Everybody fucking like me until they have a reason to dislike me when I do shit like this because you keep fucking bothering me. I just don't understand why you have to keep defending your friendship with Chad. Exactly. Like, no sense. You're not his mother. You exactly. don't have to explain shit that Chad does. What the and fuck's wrong with And y'all tell me you if people? anything in that fucking, if anything in that was really about a fucking playlist, it was about my friendship with Chad. The whole, I'm like, what are you even here because of Chad? Because Chad did. Because Chad did this. And you and Chad, and I, I said that you don't, it's okay for you to be friends with him. Bitch, I don't need permission. That's why I'm still friends with him. You can never tell me who I got to block. Who I gotta unfollow. Mm-hmm. Bitch, I'm not doing nothing like that. I'm grown. I don't know you. You came to me. Clock I really it. start mingling with you motherfuckers for real, for real, for six months. The worst six months experience of my life of being the sand. And I've that's, been the sand for a long goddamn time. That's my designer. That's my designer. You How dare you? Me. Right. That you shit was man, down. their screenshots that ain't this even out yet. Like, like, like this ain't it. This ain't it. Damn. This is- this is very similar to what Chef did with Baby, me about being friends with This ain't Spot. it. This Weird. ain't it, Weird. honey. This ain't it. No, we ain't even got it to the fact that motherfucking Barty Gang members who done asked for help that sister girl done talked about like oh she was big, tough talking Tony. Yeah, there's more. Honey, there's more. We ain't even scratched the surface. Motherfuckers want to keep going out there throwing all these lies around like y'all wasn't getting motherfucking captured and screen capped the entire motherfucking time. Y'all ain't got shit. That's why it took them all this time to finally issue a rebuttal. They don't got nothing. And then as part of their rebuttal, it ain't been nothing but personal digs and personal attacks, which is where the fucking arguments have been since March. They can't argue that we wasn't doing shit. They can't argue that we wasn't bringing the creativity and the talent into the discord. They can't argue because once we left, the quality dropped all the way down to fucking zero. They were down to eight boosts out of motherfucking 14, and people was leaving that motherfucking chateau quicker than the wind is blowing. So at the end of the day, bitch. You can you can sit up there and lie to those little 12 people, those same 12 people that are the only active people in there, and the only reason why y'all even had 30 people in that motherfucking uh, Discord tonight was because they wanted the other half of the tea, but at the end of the day, bitch, y'all ain't gonna never be able to beat these screenshots and screen recordings. That's what you're never gonna fucking be. And anybody that's in Barty Gang, if y'all are a part of that motherfucking chateau, y'all better leave that goddamn cult. Leave the cult. Don't donate your motherfucking money to them. Y'all better go look for Barty Gang Bank. Y'all motherfuckers better stay the fuck away from them motherfucking people because they pulled their mask off and y'all was able to see it and hear it for y'all motherfucking selves. Leave that motherfucking stand project. These people get off on having y'all following behind them, putting money in their motherfucking pockets. They do not support the fan base and they do not support support the motherfucking culture. Period. 
point blank whatsoever. It goes from me saying, oh, hey, I'm looking for playlists. Well, we were still curating them. That day three, the song came at midnight. Y'all should have been working on it already. Y'all was online. Y'all was online tweeting and doing spaces. So why the fuck didn't you make a playlist to give it to me for the website? Why not but hold on. go to the website? I mean, to the internet to get one. Y'all should have been on it because y'all said that's what y'all was going to do, but you didn't give it to me. I was talking, I was doing it to promote the damn song. I just needed some playlists. So that way I could give it out to people. Am I so wrong for doing that? Oh my God, I'm so sorry that Chad Names was on it. I didn't know that Apple Music, when you embed it, shows a person's name on it. I genuinely would not have done it if I thought Chad's name was going to show up because I didn't want a fucking problem. But as you can see, everything is a problem. The problem wasn't a fucking playlist. The problem was my friendship with Chad. It's exactly. all even though, even though, even though the point of me even going to go get the playlist was for the Chateau, Hello? I was still promoting the Chateau. That's even though I, I wasn't in the Chateau. And that's when I knew that shit became different because it came up. It became oh, this playlist. They just want to get me in to ambush me and jump me. It was all of them versus me by myself. All of them. And it was always like that. Anytime Chad would step in and say, wait a minute, y'all going a little bit too far. Oh, y'all in fucking cahoots. Y'all two motherfuckers. You, you, on us. Y'all trying to ambush us. Y'all jumping us. Like, what are you talking what? about, bro? If it's really that problem, come step to my doorstep. Dox me like you've been trying to do. I get alerts that come to my phone about people looking me up, dumbass. Dumbass. Keep fucking trying. Keep trying. Come to my door on the outskirts of Chicago and show me what the fuck you really about. Please, I promise to God on my father ashes, come and beat the shit out of me. Do Please, it. Please, God. Do it. Please. Please I had a woman, I had a woman all on the timeline talking about she was going to offer me a flight to fucking Florida. Bitch, do you know I would give that flight to somebody else who would dog walk your stupid ass? Bitch, you think I'm going to step off a plane to come and fight a woman? And I'm a why gay would, black man in America? Why would I fly to another city because a bitch can't take me? Baby, please. <laughs> please. please. Over a fan base that's not even hers or mine. Right. Stupid ass bitch. We're just, we were just standing. I, my logo, my motto was make standing fun again. So I went into this like this would be a cool ass idea for Barty Gang because we do nothing but promote. We buy. We celebrate Cardi B. And then it turned into something so nasty like this. It should have never got to that point. When that courtroom shit happened, and they said, oh, you need a trial, Trixie. A trial? What the, what the fuck? I need a trial for some stand shit? Oh, I'm going to come, but I'm about to press record because I know you motherfuckers finna yell into your goddamn phone. And y'all going to say the nastiest thing because the thing is they already built the narrative that I'm a liar, that I'm jealous of them. Oh, my and God. I got a problem with them. Fuck you. Oh, my God. I just seen this screenshot from that child talking about he got ways to get you kicked. Yeah. Barty Gang Party told somebody else, hey, um, she's going to be kicked soon because she's not an admin. And they were like, how? We just had a design meeting. What's going on? Because I never once said anything. You know that motherfucker going to say, oh, I have my ways. She'll be gone soon, but don't ask nobody why she's getting kicked out. How fucking dare you? You ain't put an ounce of time or creativity or money into it. How dare you say go. you're going to get me kicked out? Y'all, I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. Chat outside again tonight, honey. I can't. I gotta go get me some drinks and me, honey. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, I'm outside. You know, some of these fat raccoon face, shit smear face ass diabetic bitches that got a degree in nursing and got a white ass in the motherfucking home um, could never be Chad on their sickest, thinnest day of the motherfucking year, bitch. You will constantly sit in your motherfucking fat dungeon, you and that weird ass bitch from Miami who just wants my attention so badly, will always be sitting in the shadows watching Chaz shine like the light that I am, bitch. And me and Barty Gang are gonna continue to promote Cardi B. We're gonna continue to love each other and support each motherfucking other. And we're gonna push these goddamn songs the way that we are intended to do. So y'all have a great night. I love the fuck out of everybody in this bitch that ride with Chaz and Trixie and Jackpot and TK and everybody motherfucking else that's in Body Gang. I love the fuck out of y'all and I hope y'all all have a good night too. No problem, Chad. My fake boyfriend is calling me soon. So, oh, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Tell your you fake, fake boyfriend fake I said what to do. <laughs> yeah, I'll let his fake ass know what you got going on. All right. Bye, y'all. Love y'all. Talk to y'all later. Good night. Bye, good friend. Night. We can. Bye, friends. <laughs> Shout out to Trixie, bitch. <laughs> 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 But yeah, if anybody have a problem, um, 
please let me know. Y'all better not try to run and end this space, and I just got in here. No, I'm not ending anything. Yeah, I'm just playing. I'm joking. I'm I'm fucking irritated. Do you know that that motherfucker was in that Discord talking some, oh, this fake-ass bitch with her fake boyfriend, fake lifestyle. She live on the outskirts of Chicago. She wears Shirley Temple curls and all this other shit. You really got the nerve to talk bad about me? I never once said anything nasty about you, Mr. Sir. Never said anything nasty about you. Didn't talk about your appearance. Didn't dox you or anything. But you in there was riding me like a dog. You let me have it in there with your 35 listeners. You well, let me have it. Can I ask, because I have been out of the loop, was anything said about me? He said that you were um problematic and he was happy that you was gone. In in this in that in the Discord last night? No, he ain't said nothing in the Discord last night, but he has said oh. it in the past and that he was happy that you were gone because you were problematic. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I addressed Oops. that in the last place about that, but um, I'm gonna just keep it a book with y'all. This whole thing has become a disaster, and, and I, I love it them, because they should have left me the fuck alone. It's been happy. I don't have to be quiet. I'm so tired of people. And I'm not saying up. you should be quiet at I'm all so because I understand where you're coming from. Because like when I got the message that I would what you said about me being problematic, that disturbed my spirit because I'm like I'm I'm actually still I'm actually still following the chateau. I used to retweet. You know, certain things I used to, you know, participate in the birthday shout outs, even though I had left. And to hear that was just kind of a little bit disheartening. Because they're like, fake and phony, bro. I know we got issues, you know, but I ain't never disgraced the chateau, you know. So it was, it made me feel some type of way. And I would just say this, man like the ego, the yes. ego, the ego is the yes. most, it could be the most. <laughs> powerful things and also the most devastating thing in a lot of different ways. And I don't have and a fucking ego. I feel I just like if you're trying to run age. if you're trying to run something that's supposed to be positive for the fan base this type of stuff that's going on is really going to run it to the ground. Yep, that's when all I'm was, saying. When we started out with the Chateau it was supposed to be a positive thing. Yep. Now I'm not gonna sit up here and act like I have not. I'm not. A, I'm not removed from flaw because I have been. I've had my things, my share of things here and there. Me and you, Trixie. Even though you know we had our arguments, me, you, and Chad, we've had our arguments behind the scenes as well. But you ain't never disrespect me. But you know, I feel like, I feel like where it, it has come now. It has really, 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 really destroyed things. And even though I'm not over there right now, and I don't have no bad blood with nobody, but I'm just looking at it from the outside, looking in. This it is it is pitiful to watch what has become. Yep. Imagine living. Though. I'm just gonna imagine keep it living real. through it. The constant, oh, you a snake ass bitch, you this and you that. My character always being attacked. And then tonight, they, the performance they want to do in a Discord. Now, get on the timeline with it. You got so much nasty shit to say about me as a black woman. You're a black gay man. I have never once came at you at any type of like that because you are a man. But you feel so comfortable with fucking disrespecting me as a woman. And it's disgusting. This is your second time now doing that shit. Before you called me a bitch. And when I asked you why you did that, you was copping, please. Oh, sister, I didn't mean to. That's just the way that I talk. And I said, well, I want to apologize. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But now it's, oh, this bitch and her fake-ass boyfriend and this bitch look like this. How dare you? But, Ken, let me say this, too, and this is something that I want to say. I just want to finish saying what I was going to say because I feel like this. a lot of this stuff could have been prevented with simple, comp simple conversations at the time that stuff started being noticed. And I has, I've said this to certain people in private, and I've said it, you know, in our meetings. You cannot sit on stuff. When you see something and you recognize a problem, you need to address it right then and there with the person and don't wait. Because what I just hearing some of the recording that I heard, like it seemed like it was a buildup of things that should have been discussed 
of some and, time. But every out. time I tried, Drew, and it was an argument. It was meetings. your friendship with Chad. Every time I tried, it was always an argument, whether it was in chat, in the Discord. A bitch is fucking tired. This does not mean that shit much shit to me. But I'm going to clear my name because I'm tired of being no, fucking No, I'm, I'm not telling you not I to don't clear like your name because I get it. Like, I understand because I'm going to stand like, behind me 24-7 because ain't nobody else going to fucking do nah, it. I get, no, I'm telling you. I get what you're saying because it's like, you know, you know, it's so much stuff being said. And, and here's the thing about the talking behind the scenes. People be thinking that certain people don't be talking and they be running back telling what y'all exactly. And exactly. y'all and y'all want to and certain people be throwing their rocks and hiding their hands exactly. and trying to act and present a certain way to the public. And then, you know, behind the scenes, it's a whole different thing. And that's what is like it don't matter how much you try to not come forth and address certain things. If you be, if if you getting caught in 4K, you got caught in 4K. Whether somebody recorded you, whether somebody heard it from somebody else, whether somebody um took a screenshot. When there's receipts, there's receipts, and you can only try to play the publicist. I'm gonna be a you know I'm gonna play. I'm not gonna address this. I'm not gonna say this public. I'm not gonna address it head on for so long before it starts to look like you're being fake. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just and this is coming from Drew. So okay, nobody say oh you know somebody said this and I'm saying exactly what I'm saying. Don't miss my words. Don't twist them. I don't have no beef. With nobody, but just because I know how it feels, I, I've ex I'm experiencing certain things lately where I'm seeing people choosing sides that don't have nothing to do with my conflict with other people. People have decided that they won't don't fuck with me and distance themselves from me, don't say nothing to me because of my issues with one person. And y'all think y'all y'all think y'all slick talking shit behind the scenes, talking shit amongst each other, or talking shit in in front of certain people, and that shit be getting back. So I understand where you're coming from, Trixie. Because excuse me, you have every right to defend your character when somebody is talking crap about you to a group of people, whether it's in private, whether it's on Discord, whether it's wherever, you still, it's still trash talk. And people have a right to speak up about it when they recognize it. So, you know, I, I don't blame you for what you're saying, but I, what I'm saying, what I'm trying to say in general about the whole back and forth is that it did not have to come to this. And this was started out as something okay, so okay. positive for BG has I'm now become. I'm going to pause you. Because. Hold on, I let me finish, love. No, love. No. I understand what you're saying. But I do think at a certain point that this shit did have to happen. Because if it didn't, this hate that they do. All this other shit that they do, all this fucked up shit that they do, we would not know this if this shit was not brought to the timeline. I'm telling you, I did not know half the shit that the Chateau has had been has had going on for this 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 short amount of time. There should never be a time when you're a fan, stand, whatever the fuck you want to be where you are talking to people in a manner like that when you're supposed to be vice president, when you're supposed to be administration, when you're supposed to fucking be the one setting an example. You're not setting a good example by yelling at people and demeaning people. You would never tell me which way to go, bitch. And I tried my best to keep, to stick it out. Cause I'm like, man, I have really good ideas for rollout things I really want to implement. And this is the, the best way that I know that I can do it because I've only been behind the scenes with planning mm -hmm. twice. This is my second time. When I tell you, I would never, ever do it again. To all the people who are asking me to start my own thing, no, I, w I don't ever want to get involved with anything like this again. This was the worst experience I've ever had being a stand. And I've been standing Cardi B. I am not a stand page. I do not have her picture as my profile. I am a GP motherfucker who stands my bitch on the side and my GP followers have to fucking deal with it. They all know, hey, I'm going to retweet this Barty Gang shit on your timeline nonstop. 
but I'm also going to talk about social injustice, women issues, my relationship, the things that I'm doing in my life, my promotion, where I work, shit like that. I don't just have stand followers. You can't give me any clout. I don't know you. And I could talk about whatever the fuck I want to talk about for how long I want to fucking talk about it. I had to deal with you motherfuckers calling me all this type of shit for fucking six months. Y'all was having conversations behind the scenes about, oh yeah, she might steal it one day. She might steal a discord one day. That never even crossed my mind to do some corny shit like that. If that was the case before I left, I could have deleted the whole fucking thing and gave you a reason to really be mad. But for you to get on there and talk about my looks, my appearance, my life, how dare you? Because I'm still not doing that to you and I won't because you're a little, you're little to me. But my respect is bigger than that. You're not going to keep disrespecting me. Run to the Discord, hiding it with your club, because you're never going to bring it to the town. Talk to them little two fucking people. Because you're going to have to answer to what the fuck you said to me as a gay black man. You're going to have to answer for it. Pride month is over. Bring that ass here. Bring that ass here. Because I'm fucking sick of it. (laughs) I'm sick of it. I've been biting my tongue, and I've been letting this shit go on for too long. And the and them fucking straw that broke the camel's back was when that motherfucker said I was stealing again and platted and everybody in there laughing like they was in on some type of joke that I wasn't, but she was already calling me a thief for damn near three weeks by then. Fuck you and fuck y'all. And I don't have to be quiet. If I want to tweet about it every fucking day, I can and I will. Give me what you got, motherfucker. This is stand shit. If you ain't gonna come to my house on the outskirts of Chicago, like you said, to come beat my ass. You better keep it fucking mute. I don't give a fuck about what text message you pull out. I don't give a fuck what screenshot you have. Because what I just played for these people is the motherfucking truth how you talk to people. How you talk to women. You act like you're so inclusive and you one of the girls, but listen to how you talk to one of the girls. I would never disrespect you because I don't value enough to do that shit to you. Chad gonna let your ass have it. But that's not my character. That's not how I get down with my brand. People genuinely like me because I'm a cool-ass bitch. You don't know anything about me to say I'm selfish or I'm conniving or I'm a snake and I'm sneaky. How dare you, motherfuckers? You came to me with this idea. I didn't go looking for you, motherfuckers. I don't have to stop talking. You know what? How about this? I'm going to talk about it for as many months as I had to deal with it. So this is one month. All right, we got four more to go. If I want to tweet about it every goddamn day, I will because you should have never been in that Discord talking nasty about me. You should never been in that motherfucking line accusing me of stealing, getting on the phone with other residents. You're calling these people, you're calling stands on the phone to talk about me and Chad. You have lost it. <laughs> you have lost it. Once I got word of that, you actually got another stands phone number to call them on the phone to berate them about why did you leave? Why, why you, why, what happened? Why did you decide to, you're crazy. And you know who you did it to, you're nuts. I would never do anything like that. I would never get another stance telephone number and say, hey, let me say this, this and that. You're an outside party. Let me try, try to tell you my side. No, I never did it. Nobody on this time, like I say, I ever called them on a fucking phone to do some shit like that. That's loser behavior. But my fake boyfriend is calling me, y'all. I'm finna go have a fake conversation with him. And we gonna have fake sex tomorrow. You know, because I'm faking it. I don't have a man. Fuck the pictures that y'all seen. I, my boyfriend is fake, you guys. He He's all fake. He's a, he's a facade. He's a mirage. Tell him I said fake. <laughs> I, I would let, I would no let say. My was that, my his, was that his voice know. the other day? Was that... Was that you doing his voice the other day that we fake heard? Ass, no, because he doesn't exist. And you know what? The funny thing is, yesterday he was the one that told me, let the motherfuckers have it. He said, you've been quiet for a real long time trying to show grace. I would do that shit anyway, and I'll still expose him for the way that they fucking treated you because he has heard certain conversations. And he's like, damn, is it that serious? I'm like, obviously to them it is. He's like, you know what? Eventually, they're going to regret the shit that they do to you. And yesterday he said, you might as well just expose it anyway because they're not going to stop. He has heard multiple Discord meetings with them for planning this shit the way that they speak to people. Specifically, Chad and I. So like I said, 
My fake ass boyfriend is going to call me. I'm going to continue living my fake ass life with my beautiful ass Shirley Temple curls. Make sure you all go and look at my pen tweet to see how beautiful and luscious my curls are. Y'all have a good night. Fuck CBG. Fuck the Chateau. Fuck them fucking lap dogs that's over there. <laughs> Bye, Trey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that bitch is funny, yeah. I cannot believe half of the shit that I'm hearing about the chateau. Hold on, let me like that shit is just insane. Like, if you're a part of that shit and you're a resident, you don't have no fucking business. It this is just just tell you that now. You don't have no fucking business in being a part of anything that has to do with this horrible negative entity. It's not good for stan culture it's not good for fan culture it's not good for twitter it's not good for your kids it's not good for your health if you've been affected by this like you need to call a doctor <laughs> oh this that's shit. why i said it, it it went from business to personal real quick but it's supposed to be about party overall and y'all over here arguing about a fucking playlist that, that just say- don't make sense and to say that a scan group is a fucking business is insane to me. It's sick. It's crazy. It's delusional. It's delusional when he thought he was going to call anybody run. fake. Like the fake foods he be stuffing his mouth with. Like that is just disgusting. Like, Cause like they said at the end of the day, ain't none of y'all making no money off of it like that. So how was this that? Bitches posting fake chats for shit that don't even involve them trucking companies and shit like girl. Oh, wow. Like girl. I hate that for her. I really do too. I do too. I'm gonna let somebody back up here, but like please just keep it short. Like and stop just contradicting short. yourself. Okay, Messi, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm gonna mute you, ho. Okay. Hey, Jackpot. I mean, uh, Barty304. Can you hear me? What's up? Hey. Okay, so I just want to be clear. Me and Woody are not cool right now. So when I was speaking, I wasn't trying to defend what they were doing to Trixie. I, understand I was that. saying... I was speaking from the standpoint of somebody who was actually in the Chateau with Trixie. She understood where I was coming from because we was all initially on, you know, in the Chateau. We started out in the Chateau and I've been a part of some of those same meetings that she's talking about. So I'm very well aware of what she's talking about and I understand where she was coming from. I'm not telling her that she shouldn't even say nothing. I was actually trying to say, no, she should say something because I have experienced some of the same things that she's experienced where people was talking about me behind my back and they didn't think that it was getting back to me, but it was. And then they expect you to be quiet and not say nothing. But what I was trying to get to was like, I felt like, I feel like right now the Chateau is in the shits. And the what they start initially started out trying to do has become a shit show. And based on what I heard from their recording and the things that I've also been a part of and experienced and, and conversations and things of that nature, I really don't think this is a good look and it has turned into something really, really nasty. And that's what I was really trying to say. I was not defending what they was doing to her. Okay, I understand that. I'm sorry, my room cloudy as fuck right now. I'm high as fuck. I don't know what you're missing. I know we know that you're a good guy, Drew. Yeah, I'm yeah. not. We've I'm heard, not saying that. I'm people. just saying that. Uh, I know that you hate that it got this far, but I feel like it did have to get this far to a point. Nah, of- I'm just saying I hated it got this far. I'm just saying <laughs> that like it didn't have to get to this level if people would have just stopped letting their ego get in the way, and if people would have. Because I know a lot of stuff, like I said, I was over there. If people would have just addressed certain things at the at the beginning when they saw it, instead of having these things where it's like people just dwelling on stuff, waiting and waiting, and then bam, here we go. 
and it becomes a big explosion, a lot of stuff could have been prevented. But I am not in support of anybody being bullied or called out their name or whatever was going on. Because like I said, I'm, you know, like I'm not a part of the Chateau myself. And plus me and other people are having issues right now. But I've heard some stuff that have been said about me that was not true. And I was kind of disheartened by like what she said earlier talking about I was problematic over there, but when I was over there, you telling me that I'm helping, that I'm doing, you know, I'm helping bring, you know, traction or I'm helping or whatever you said to be supportive. But now because I'm not friends with you no more, because I'm not in the chateau, I'm pro I was problematic and I didn't need to be there. So why, why did you have me there in the first place? So that's what I was essentially trying to say. Okay, I definitely understand that and, because and, and and that's happened to other people. Like the, I guess the way that they um they check people to get uh, approved to be a part of it, they'll be like, oh, they're messy, they're problematic. Like, I mean, I guess messy lives up to his name, messy boots, but um, they they said messy was too messy or something. <laughs> um, I guess you 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 claim that name, messy. Now, can I, um, well, can yeah. I say this? I know from, now I don't know about the Missy, because I wasn't there whenever they disapproved him or whatever, but I would say there was, when we when we first started it, initially we did not want, and I wish people had just been honest about it, we did not want certain people inside, because certain people, there is a section of BG who kind of, you know, they kind of can be a little edgy, and we knew that if they came over with a group of people who <clears throat> were over there, it was going to be a big argument and it was going to be back and forth and, and it would, we weren't going to get nowhere. So, and I wish it, it could have been transparent from the jump that we was not allowing everybody to come over there. But I felt like we was trying to be too political initially. Um, and it, it did, it, <laughs> You see what's happened. Like, we should have just been transparent and said, listen, hey, listen, we're not letting everybody over here. Everybody can't come join. Um, And just kept it real, you know? Because then it's like now when certain people are trying to join, they feeling like, okay, I should be over here. But the reality is some people do have a, a bad cloud over them because maybe they done said some stuff in tweets or... You know, maybe they be in spaces with barbs, you know, whatever the whatever the reason is. They feel like, okay, well, I don't think you will mesh well over here. So, you know, I just think a little bit of honesty could have went a long way. But, hey, what do I know? Can I, can I, can I speak on me getting removed from a server, please? Okay, so no. So honestly, I want to just move the fuck on from this bullshit. I don't want to mention the chateau anymore. I hope the entity does dissolve. It's not funny. Hold on, guys, for real. I want to go ahead and move on from this because I'm tired as fuck. I'm not going to keep being on here talking about this repetitive ass shit with these people. These lame ass, same stupid ass motherfuckers. I'm not going to keep doing it. I'm not. So what I have to say is what I have to say. I'm not associating with myself with the Chateau in any form or capacity. Jackpot's Casino has nothing to do with the Chateau in any form or capacity. Jackpot's Casino is not an organization. And I'm just going to leave that right there. Now, on to the next topic that I do have to address really quick before I do go is... <clears throat> Not only have we dealt with the negative dark cloud that is the Chateau, we've had to deal with the haughty university, whoever Chef Plex decided to be that day. I don't know what he was sipping on, drinking, eating ribs. I don't know. But you need to leave us alone because I'm not the one to play with. I'm really not. If any of y'all do anything to me with my career, with anything that I fucking have, I will press charges on your ass. I'm not the fucking one. 
you need to leave Sierra alone and her mother alone. If you go to their house or you contact them again, this is your warning. If you contact them again in any form or capacity, writing a letter, sending a text message, sending an email, sending an undercover, sending anything to them, there will be a problem. You need to leave these people alone. We leaving you alone. I'm letting you live. Just do what you do. Leave us alone. I'm going to leave you the fuck alone. <clears throat> so that's all I really had to say for right now. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. This ch- this chateau bullshit is, is, I don't think y'all understand how astronomical it is. You need to, you need to dismantle yourself from this. You need to disassociate yourself from this. This needs to be dismantled. It is negative. It is nothing good for Cardi B. The way that they spoke about us in that space And what I was saying is the most highest level of disrespect I think I've ever seen by people who try to present themselves as a professional entity. I'm I'm not down for the racism. I'm not down for the peso pluma shit. I'm not down for that shit. What y'all did to the people, like you could have did anything, anything, $10, $5, 25 cents. It didn't matter. You could have did something. And honestly, I want to say I love you guys so much for tuning in, whether it was for me, Trixie, Chad, whoever you tuned in for, or whatever you or whatever you thought about the Chateau, believe that shit. That gut feeling that you had, just like me in the beginning, believe that shit. When I saw that shit, I was like, hell no, nah, my motherfucking mouth, I can't be associated with shit like that. Because I will cuss them motherfuckers straight up and down. And I never thought I was going to have to deal or interact with them in this manner. You need to do better. Y'all need this professionalism that y'all claim to have is non-existent. I am not in it for a competition with the Chateau. I'm in it for Cardi B. That is a negative entity that needs to be dissolved and dismantled immediately. Immediately. And anything that has to do with the Chateau, you need to you need to disassociate yourself immediately. Because this is not this is not the way we want to go, Barty Gang. I'm telling y'all, if you really love if you really love Cardi fucking B, if you love Becca Lee's. Yo ass does not need to be associated with the Chateau in any fucking form or fucking manner. Do you understand what the fuck I'm saying? These motherfuckers are no good for Cardi B. They do not do what they say. They are broke. They are waiting for CB2. They are hoping for donations. They're hoping on a big donation. They're not going to get the donation. They're not producing numbers. They're not producing enough analytics. These motherfuckers have gotten so much money and have never given, like, (sighs) what they've done has not even made a dent. Not even a fucking, not even a dent, not even a scratch in what Cardi B is doing. Y'all feel... I didn't smoke five blunts, but like this shit is not good. <laughs> it's not. I don't. I don't understand what the fuck is going to it is going to happen if it doesn't get dismantled. Because the way that they go after people, if you if you think about the fucking recording from Trixie, and you sit back and you remember who was yelling the most. Who sounded the most professional? Who sounded the one that had their shit to fucking gather? It was not Mimi. You don't yell in any professional capacity. You are not the vice president of anything. Your motherfucking ass sit back and yell at people. If I had that position, I would have treated it with way more class. I just want to tell you that. Because I would want to take everything that we do to the the highest standard to the tippity top if that was my organization. 
I would have done that. Because anything that I do is not going to be half-assed. I'm telling you, I go full throttle. I do not half-ass nothing. I don't. Not my friendships, not my relationships. Now, I know you lying. Stop fucking playing with me. Hold on. It says the Chateau BG. That does not have an underscore under it. That cannot be them. Them motherfuckers is not suspended. Don't ever fucking play with me like that. Do you understand? <laughs> Do you understand me? Don't ever fucking play. don't ever fucking play with me like that again. But I just want to say something else. I want to reiterate the Chef Plex situation. Do not ever, ever think that you are above the law, bitch. And stop fucking contacting people and harassing anybody. This is your last warning. Do not contact us in any form or fashion. We have disassociated ourselves. I have blocked you. You have blocked me. Stop making subs. Stop posting my shit. Stop doing all that shit because I will say it the fuck Again, I will say it again. You act like I will not reiterate what the fuck I said. I stand on business. I stand on what the fuck I said. Number one, I don't fuck with the Chateau. Number two, I don't fuck with Chef Plex. Number three, leave them fucking people alone. You keep posting people's doors. You posting people's numbers. You posting people's addresses. You posting people's information. You talking about the FBI. Bitch, you are, you need to stop. Leave us the fuck alone. Do not contact anybody else that you have harassed. So many people have been telling me that you continue to harass them. Leave them the fuck alone. You are going to do something that you are not going to be able to stop or get rid of. You are going to end up, girl, I ain't even gonna say where he gonna end up, but he keep playing with the fire. He's gonna end up getting burned. That's all I say. I am fire. Do not fuck with me. Stop. Leave me the fuck alone. And who the fuck are you? <laughs> like, like, leave me the fuck alone. They say jackpot this, jackpot that, jackpot said this, jackpot said that. And who the fuck are you? Who are you, bitch? I am not here for you. I am not here for nobody on this motherfucking app. But Cardi fucking B. I wish Bory was here because this is a Cardi B stand page. Stop fucking talk about Nicki Minaj. I do not fuck with Nicki Minaj. This is Cardi B. The Chateau, fuck you. Chef Flex, fuck you. Jackpot's out.